already I feel like I'm better at what I do as a principal because of what I've learned just in a short period of time and that's very exciting to think about. The relevancy, the utility and the timeliness of what we're learning uh, just aligns beautifully for me with what I'm faced with in the workplace. The opportunity to participate in a program that Dr. Laws put together, pulling in the leaders of, of our field, um, it was just too great to pass up. They, they, they did not have the ability or the vision to scale it, so it was classic failed implementation. When the college began to think about and conceive of the doctoral program, I was very fortunate and, and honored and privileged to be involved in that. And I really believe that the program model that Delaware Valley has designed for this doctoral program is a brilliant one. Well, I've been in, uh, in education all of my life, uh, 40 years of my professional life. And um, as a teacher, um, as a psychologist, uh, as an administrator, and finally for the last 20 some years as superintendent of the Central Buck School District. So uh, when I was asked to develop a program in educational leadership, I thought, now there's a topic I know a lot about. I worked for Dr. Laws for my entire educational career. I know the, the level of excellence that he brings to pretty much anything that he's involved in. I knew that he was going to put together a stellar program and uh, I'm already thrilled that I'm a part of it because I've only had two classes uh, and they've both been awesome. So in developing the program I was able to uh, put a bit of my own personal um, flair to what I thought budding new school administrators would need um, in these really challenging times to be in public education. The teachers and principals who want to earn a doctorate degree uh, will see DelVal as their destiny of choice. And the reason I say destiny of choice is because they recognize that the program was built with their future in mind. We're able to confer a credential that the graduates who earn that credential, the doctorate, will be able to immediately begin to utilize the skills gained and the case studies that they will have participated in, uh, in their own buildings. Well, the initial discussion uh, was between Dr. Brosnan and Dr. Hanna and myself. And as DelVal committed to pursuing university status, the doctoral program was discussed as the potential flagship of the graduate school. When I arrived uh, at DelVal in July of 2011, one of the things that the strategic plan had uh, identified as a critical strategic initiative for us is to become a university and earn a status change to such an entity. Um, one of the requirements in Pennsylvania to be considered for such a status change is to have a minimum of one doctorate degree. So we were, we were looking at various programs that would make sense for our community, for our mission, and that were uh, consistent with the direction the institution was heading. At the same time, uh, when Bob Laws retired as, as superintendent, we brought him in as a scholar in residence to work with us to uh, uh, look at program opportunities out in the, in the, in the region and in the, in the, in the whole uh, Central Bucks area. And uh, he had a, a good sense of, in terms of talking with school superintendents and principals, uh, what was needed out there in, in the school districts, um, Central Bucks and beyond, and the doctorate was born. Well, the program's designed to uh, service working professionals, uh, either in the fields of K-12 education or higher ed. So if someone is pursuing the um, K-12 track, that would lead them to, or to, to the certification as a superintendent. Uh, if one is pursuing the track in higher ed, it would then allow them to assume administrative roles in colleges and universities. Many of the degrees out there um, are very rich in theory, um, but with a splattering of practical application. Um, and we wanted to do um, the exact opposite, make sure that the theory is incorporated, but from an, from an applied perspective. One of the nice things about the program is how it's very pragmatic. 
It is, it, it's heavily based in theory, but it's also based in, in, in application and practice. And it's nice because it's taught by people who are practitioners in the field or were practitioners in the field. They understand the complexities, they understand the scenarios, they understand all of the layers that go into the work. I'm finding myself immediately translating what I learned on a Friday evening and Saturday into the workplace on Monday. Uh, professors are, for the most part, adjunct professors, all practicing administrators in uh, southeastern Pennsylvania or New Jersey. Uh, they've been carefully recruited to be some of the finest uh, educators um, who are also willing to share their experiences with these students. Uh, so it's, it's a pretty strong program. So uh, we, in, in, the, in the Leadership and Change course, we are focusing on the concepts of core values, beliefs, focusing on, on what it looks like to develop uh, shared vision, uh, common mission, goals, objectives. So uh, the coursework that I'm engaged in right now is change theory. That's with uh, Dr. Chris Mano, who was the superintendent of the year in New Jersey last year, and this guy's incredible. I expected to be energized by returning to the classroom. I was not prepared for how empowered I feel. Um, which is, I think, a pretty spectacular thing and I think a testament to the professors that we've had thus far in the program. These classes have been fantastic and, and I think that, that already what we've learned is an indicator of what the program is going to offer at the conclusion. The program is designed to be a weekend-based program and by that I mean a Friday evening, all day Saturday. Each course requires three weekends a term and the program requires two courses a term. Many, many students were attracted to the program because indeed it's a Friday night, Saturday program. Uh, we have classified the program and the courses as hybrid, meaning that they do have a, uh, some component uh, of an online instruction. So for example, uh, the courses are 36 hours of face-to-face -face instruction and 10 hours of online. Uh, I have used the hybrid approach extensively the combination of in-person teaching supplemented and complemented with online experiences and instruction and it is a very effective model. And I really love being in a classroom full of students, the cohort model, where it's such a good group and the connectedness with that group of people and the opportunity to learn from those people, the opportunity to, to be a part of something very special. and. Um, I'm really impressed with the quality of, of who's in the cohort. Like, I'm excited to come to class tonight and this weekend because it's that engaging. And my observation was that the students demonstrated skill in analyzing, evaluating, and synthesizing the content and connecting that content not only to other works in the field, such as authors like Fullen, Hall and Ward, DeFour, etc., but relating, also relating those concepts to real world experiences from their profession. I think great things are ahead for us, uh, for, for the EDD program, as well as for uh, DelVal in university status with an outstanding doctoral program. We will now become an institution that is uh, looked at by school districts in the area as an institution that not only is able to prepare students to earn a bachelor's degree, but we are able to prepare um, high school principals, high school teachers, K through 12 um, administrators to earn their doctorate degree and be eligible to become a superintendent. I could go into central office administration if I so desired, I could go into a curriculum position, I could go into any kind of supervisory position, I certainly could teach um, as an adjunct or maybe even down the road as a, as a full professor at the university level. I think it would add credence to consulting work or anything like that. I have an opportunity to be part of many exciting things at Pierce College such, such as strategic planning, curriculum development, developing other faculty members. Um, and I see the immediate return as it will help me do my job better now. I think that, that this program model will compete with the best of the best programs. The, the, the quality of the program and the way it was developed uh, in the involvement of the community is something that I think will, will ensure its success and it obviously has started off very successfully with a very large first cohort.
highly recommend it to anyone who's looking for a dynamic, pragmatic, forward-thinking program.